We are in conversation with Joanna Krupa. Mm -hmm. <laughs> stylish New Yorker. The Curtis Stone. Just keep in mind that I am the law. You know, it's something you can do as a group. Here with the beautiful Priyanka Chopra. Will you be walking? Yes. So you've always had success, but lately you've, you've been on fire. Call 555-723. You got lots of publicity. I'm Liz with Publicity here with Matt Dillon and Derek Warburton. How are you folks tonight? Really We're good. great. How are you? I'm good, thank you. So, publicist, stylist, what's it like working with celebrities? Oh, God. I mean, no it's, it's like, you know what? I, a lot of celebrities are artists because they're actors or actresses or whatnot, and I'm an artist too, you know, as a stylist. So, I don't know, I get along really well. I've never, I've never honestly had a difficult time, ever. It's always been fun, you know, and it's like everyone kind of gets it, and I love what I do, so it's really exciting, and it, I love making them feel good about who they are. It's just like working with anyone, you know? I'd agree, but in my line with PR, you kind of become their friend as well, so you get immersed in their world and the craziness, so it's kind of like I don't view them as celebrities anymore, you know what I mean? I view the people I work with as like allies in this media battle that we Right, exactly. We, we live a war. It's a war. It's a hustle. Yeah, and we don't knock a hustle. <laughs> Absolutely. So tell us a little bit about your day to day. Oh gosh, uh, I but I'm going to Vegas next week to do um, a new talk show that I haven't done before. So that'll be really fun on Fox. Thank you. And then sorting through returns because that's what my life is. I pull and return, pull and return, and then uh, dealing with my team about a hundred other things that are coming up and my own publicist uh, for something that I'm doing for holiday, and then booking shoots, and then booking some celebrity stuff coming up, and that's about it. Nothing, a light Nothing. day, a light day. It's kind of like different every day, really. You know, I work with Aviva Drescher, who's one of the housewives, so we just wrapped the new season of Real Housewives. And then she has a book coming out, and we're always hustling, and you know, lots of exciting things on the horizon, but every day, I don't think there's a day where it's actually there's a method to the man, except wake up and look at the million emails that are sitting in your box and go, holy sh Right, exactly. And you know, we're both, so I'm fashion director for a magazine in Hong Kong, and then he's Australian and works with Australia all the time. Yeah. So you wake up and there really are a hundred emails because, because it's nice. from around the world. And you know, we, you know we, we don't live local lives anymore. You know, when you're in media and you're doing different things and celebrity and you know, all of that, we really work around the world because you never know where our next gig is coming from. So we're here tonight supporting an incredibly family that was unfortunately affected by Hurricane Sandy. Yes, on the anniversary. Yeah. So where were you when Sandy hit? What what happened? I was in my house and oddly my lights didn't even flicker. I was so lucky and I felt really blessed because of so many horrible things that happened to, to everyone on the coast, you know. So I was I was very blessed and then a lot all, a lot of my friends were displaced. So so I took people in and fed everyone and you know and just loved my loved ones and felt lucky that we were okay. I was actually in my house, knee deep high in water. I live right near the Veranza Bridge, so we kind of got pounded by the water, but it, all good. All good, I mean, you know what? Didn't lose the house, didn't lose lives. People actually, perspective is a wonderful thing, so you've just gotta like, understand that, remember and that. he needed the bath anyway, so it's fine. <laughs>